Uh, my involvement with Commonwealth Engineers began in 1991 when they became the engineers for the town of Newburgh. I'd been the lawyer for Newburgh since 1984. We have the second largest sewer system in this part of Indiana. Uh, it is getting bigger, not smaller. Uh, we are in a growth phase and have been for 20 years in this township. And we've done two or three major sewer plant expansions in that period of time. The most recent was a $23 million job. We've done a veterans monument project, we've done sidewalk projects, we've done drainage projects, we've done all sorts of different kinds of projects over the years. Uh, CEI would not still be here if we weren't getting efficiency and value for the dollar. We know that whenever we have a project, um, it's going to get done and it's going to get done right. Their work is exemplary, uh, they are efficient, the product they deliver is timely and well priced. The projects at the sewer plant have been done both with SRF funding and some not. Uh, they've been very helpful with the most recent ARRA stuff and OCRA and all those federal acronyms at finding ways to get the federal dollars to bring to the town, not only for the sewer plant, which is the big project going now, but also for sidewalk projects and road projects that we are currently engaged in doing in the town. Those would have been projects we probably would not have done without the federal money. And without Commonwealth's involvement and guidance, we didn't, would not have known, frankly, the federal money was even there. Whenever we need anyone or have questions on any projects, uh, they're a phone call away or an email away. I don't believe anybody involved in the town of Newburgh would disagree with the statement that but for CEI's involvement, the town would physically look very different than it is today. And certainly from the standpoint of the sewer system, the town would be very different than it is today.